Today on Quick Tips Tuesday, I'm going to show you an under the radar way so that you can find, engage, and connect with your dream customer. Ready? Let's go. Welcome back everybody. My name is Rob Orr. If we haven't met before, I'm a web designer and developer who is absolutely obsessed with digital marketing. Today, I want to talk to you really quickly about a way that you probably haven't even thought about where you can find, engage, and connect with your dream audience and start delivering your message every single day. But before we go too much further, make sure that you hit that subscribe button below. Make sure that you hit the bell so you get the notifications every time I publish a new video. And if you stick around to the end, I've got a resource that I will give you that will show you the things that you need to avoid when it comes to starting your own Facebook group. All right, so let's talk about it. Here's the problem. So many times we struggle with trying to figure out who our dream clients are, right? Too many people have not done the hard work of going through and figuring out and, and writing out who their dream customer is. We're not talking about that today, but what we are talking about is once you figured out who that person is, I'm going to show you how to find them, engage with them and connect with them. And you can do it every day in a place where they're already hanging out. If we don't find and connect with our dream clients, if we're not talking to them, if that's not who our audience is, then we we're screwed. There's nothing we're, we're going to be able to do that's going to move the needle. It doesn't matter if we've got a hundred thousand people on our list. It just doesn't matter, then all of your online efforts are going to be an exercise in futility. You're going to be frustrated. You're not going to know what to do and you're going to want to give up. I'm here to stop that. I'm here to help you take the next step with your business. So today I'm going to talk to you about an under the radar way that you can find, engage and connect with your dream customers. One of the most important things you can do when it comes to finding your dream client is to figure out where they're already hanging out online. And for most people, that's Facebook. Facebook has got billions of users. I don't even remember how many. The, the number is just so ridiculous. It's not even worth talking about anymore. But most people on Earth, most people on planet Earth are on Facebook. And that also means that your dream client is also on Facebook. Doesn't matter whether you love Facebook or hate Facebook. Doesn't matter if you love Mark Zuckerberg or you hate him. Doesn't matter. Those people that are in your target audience are there. They're sharing pictures of cats or they're sharing pictures of their vacation. Most people are on Facebook these days. And for those that aren't on Facebook, they're on Instagram and Facebook owns Instagram and you can connect in both places. But. What I want to talk to you about today is creating a private Facebook group. Yes, you heard me right. You may have joined other groups on Facebook before. You may have gone in and joined like, um, you know, for instance, one of the things that I've done is I'm part of several Disney groups. My family loves to go to Disney. We've been doing it with my daughter since she was a baby and she still loves to go, thank God, because her mom and I love to go too. So. Um, I, but I joined these Facebook groups where I could get in and I could discuss common things, right? There are other things that I'm a part of too. I, I'm a part of different music uh, based groups on Facebook, right? I, as you can see behind me, I'm into music. I love listening to music. I love playing music. I love music, right? I'm also into sports. I'm also into uh, web development and web design and digital marketing. I'm members of all these kinds of groups. So what I want to talk to you about though, is to figure out how you can put together a group to serve and to reach and to connect with your target audience. Because as you know, the people that are in these groups are in these groups for a very specific reason, right? My wife got me into a, a group called the Tallahassee Foodies Group, right? Where they're talking about local restaurants and those kinds of things. It, it's super niche down. It's a, the ideal kind of place to create an environment where you can draw in 
your own dream client and talk to them every single day. When I first saw what people were doing with Facebook groups, it blew my mind. I couldn't believe what was going on. It was amazing to see these huge groups that were super engaged and super active all around this one topic. So what I wanna encourage you to do today is to take a look into starting your own group. It doesn't matter what business you're in. It doesn't matter what your market vertical is. You can create a private Facebook group where you are drawing in your dream customers. And you do this by how you set up your group. You do it with how you put your group photo on there. It's how you name your group and how you invite people and the kinds of content that you put into your group. A Facebook group really serves as an extension of your email list because when you set your Facebook group up correctly, you're going to draw the people that are in your group onto your email list. So yes, you can email them from your list, but you can also talk to them multiple times a day directly in your group. I've got a private Facebook group. I've talked about it before. In my private Facebook group, one of the things that they have to do when they're entering the group is they have to add their email address if they want the free resource that I'm giving them. Then I've got them on my list, right? So it doesn't matter if Facebook decides to destroy groups tomorrow. When they come in, I've still got them on, the, on my list and my list is pure gold, right? I guard my list with my life. Think about it this way. How many times does somebody go on to Facebook a day, right? A lot of people log in and they're on there constantly. People are just sitting there flipping through their phones, you know, looking at, you know, the Facebook posts and just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And you have the opportunity to be in that feed, sending and delivering the message that your market needs to hear where you're talking about how you're you're solving their pain points and you're answering their questions and you're serving your audience right there in your Facebook group. Like I said at the beginning, I've got a resource for you. If you want to start your own Facebook group, I can help you. I have linked up a resource below that talks about the five mistakes that you absolutely must avoid when it comes to starting your own Facebook group to help you to accelerate and to shorten the path for you getting started with this group. And one of the best things about having a private Facebook group that you own and control is you can monetize your group and sell to your group because it's filled with your dream customers. Hello, that's mind blowing. That's exactly what you wanna be able to do. Build a community, build raving fans, build your audience and bring them into your world so that you can serve them. If you like this and this help, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below and hit the bell. I want to make sure that we stay connected. There's lots of good stuff here on this channel for you. Until next time, you guys take care.